guys, welcome to the 160th C-Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our Hangman project. And basically what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is drawing labels inside of this uh, group box right here. And there's going to be a label and the text of that is going to be an underscore. And we're going to create a label for each letter inside of our random word. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is create a method. And in this method, we're actually going to be making a label. So I'm going to say void make labels. Um, all right, there we go. And the first thing that we're going to want to do in this make labels method is call the get random word method. And the get random word method, in the last tutorial we created this, it basically just gets a random word that the user will have to guess for. So we're just going to say get random word. All right, and then we're going to create a string up here called word. And this uh, word string will basically hold that random word that we generated. And then we can access it later and check to see if the letter that the user guesses is actually in that word. And we'll do that later on. So we'll say word equals this random word that we generated right here. All right, so the next thing that we're going to want to do is create a character array. And in this character array, there will be a letter for each um, character inside of the word. So we're going to say character array characters equals word dot two character array. And two character array will basically just convert this string into a character array. So there'll be um, an element inside of this character array for every letter inside of this word. And the last character that is inside of this word is going to be, um, oops, it's actually going to be slash n. And slash n just means that the next word will start on a new line. So we're just going to have to skip over that when we do stuff later on here. All right, so the next thing that we're going to want to do is basically create an integer telling us how many pixels each label will be apart from each other. Because if we just set them all the same, then every label is just going to be on this right side right here unless we had like a really big word. So we're going to want to space them out so that it looks right. So we're going to say int between, and you can call this anything you want. I'm just going to say between because this is how many pixels will be between each label. So we're going to say int between equals, we're going to say 330 because the width of this is 336. And we're just going to want to make it 330 so that the last label is not on the edge of this group box right here. So we're going to say between is 330 divided by the length of these, this character array right here minus 1. And we have to do minus 1 because the last character in this character array is slash n. So we just want to skip over that. We don't want a label created um, for that character, for that slash n character. Alright, and now we're going to want to create a for statement that will go through each character in our character array and create a label for it. So we're going to say for int i equals 0. And then we're going to say well i is less than um, the length of that character array minus one because again we want to skip over that slash n character we don't want to make a label for it and then we're just going to want to increment i um, each time that we loop through this array or this for statement and the final thing that we're going to do for this tutorial is just create a list of labels and in this label list we're basically just going to be storing every label that we um, create for each letter in this word so I'm just going to create it up here so we have access to it later on when we're trying to change the text of it. So I'm going to say um, actually list label and oops this needs to be that way uh, label list and I'm just going to call it labels but it doesn't really matter what you call it. I'm going to set it equal to a new label list. All right and then for each character inside of our character array or for each letter inside of our word we're just going to want to create a new label so we're going to say labels dot add a new label all right so that's pretty much it for this tutorial um, in the next tutorial we're actually going to be um, changing these labels properties like setting the position of them setting their text and stuff like that all right so see you guys